Hey guys, Strutter here. It is the 7th of November 2013 today, and of course I will get to the title of the video quickly, but I have a couple little bits of news and such before I start that. I got a comment a few videos ago asking me how could silver ever be used in currency again. Of course silver is money, it always will be money, it has those properties of money, but will silver ever be in our currency again as it was in the 60s? Uh, here in Canada and in the US and other countries and uh, as copper was up until this year apparently um, we've taken the pennies away from Canada there's no more copper in any of the Canadian coins not even those um, nickels that had a small amount of copper and nickel in them there's no copper no nickel and obviously no silver or gold anymore in our currency could it ever happen again I think it could and um, one of the things that comes up people will say is silver is, you know, there's just not enough of it for it to be used as currency. Well, there are many, many things that we could talk about in that regard, um, ways of getting around that problem, but one of them is um, fairly practical, small coins. It, uh, it can be done. So here's 10 coins made of silver, and as you can see it is 10 grams of silver. So we could do it that way, that's one way we could do it. We have in the past, these are nickels, Canadian nickels, well, they weren't called nickels then, they were called fish scales or five cent pieces, but um, they are tiny little shiny pieces of silver, and um, you can get all kinds of information written on there, as you can see, you can put all sorts of stuff. They are tiny, but uh, no, they don't get lost in your pocket, and um, hey, if if you had coins that were actually silver in your pocket, you would make sure you didn't lose them. That's just how it is. And um, just like you don't lose your silver and your gold coins now, you take good care of them, right? You would do that too if it was also currency and not just money. So um, to say that coins have to be a certain size or whatever, that's not necessarily true. These are very durable. They've lasted for, I don't know, they were in circulation for probably several decades themselves and then they were taken out and been in various collections and stuff since then. So. It works, it does work. And uh, let's move on to talk about silver demand. Unfortunately, there's not much to say. In fact, there's nothing to say. Um, Monday, they did not update, as they normally have been. Tuesday, they gave a partial update. It's a bogus number. And sometimes they update again on Thursday. As you've noticed, I've done Thursday videos just with mini updates. But uh, no, not this week. No update. They have updated gold again, just a little bit. They added some more there, but uh, nothing to that, so we are still approximately 0.47% below the all-time Silver Eagle record set in 2011 when demand was bonkers because of that spike up to $50. Now here we are at $21 silver, and demand has, well, almost exceeded 2011, but all it will take is an update of any kind. They can throw a monster box on there, and this will go... Uh, over the old record. So we just need them to update that and then we can have that big headline 2013 is the best year ever for silver bullion sales, but not yet. A quick look at the Bitcoin chart. This is that $150 consolidation area and this is the breakout. And uh, this is yesterday. It reached a high of 324.2 and uh, has been had to pull back there and is consolidating now back up to 315 bucks. Take that to a longer term chart and there you can see the old high on the left of 266 or 250 or so where it barely barely went to just briefly for a few minutes and then crashed several months ago back in April and um, we have dwarfed that. You pull it a bit further to the weekly chart and you can see we're dwarfing that old um, record so has made new highs and uh, likely will continue to make new highs. Been following this for a while. We'll continue to follow it as long as I can do videos anyway. And I'm not going to say a lot more about it right now. Moving on. On Google, you are in control of what you share. Wouldn't that be nice? You're very likely aware of everything that's going on with YouTube yesterday and today. People being locked out of their accounts, uh, being forced to get social media networking sites, uh, Google Plus and so forth just to maintain use of their YouTube account. 
Um, like I've said before, I joined YouTube long before they were part of Google, and that was forced onto me. I don't want Google+. Plus. I'm not part of Google. I don't use Google. I don't search there. I don't use their maps. I don't use their translators. I don't use anything about them except for YouTube, which they recently, well, not recently, a few years ago, bought. Um, so, no, I'm not going to use Google+. Plus. And now we're getting this. Inbox does not show new comment notifications. The comments section of the YouTube inbox will no longer update when new comments are left on your videos. And since I have no other way to get those comments, I no longer have access to know who's leaving comments on my videos or where. I have 400 and something videos now. And I get when I get up in the morning and check my YouTube, I get about 10 of these notifications. Um, you only get one per video that a comment has been left on. They don't give you multiple um, notifications for you know for each video. So if you get 50 comments on a video, you'll get one notification saying new comments here, come and check them. Right? I don't know if you guys also upload videos, so you may know some of this, but um, this is how it is for people who use YouTube from the other side, who who are. Yeah, uh, video uploaders. So um, I get about 10 of those notifications every morning. Usually there's a, the, the most recent, say, three videos I've done will have a comment or whatever needs to be checked, of course. But then I'll get comments spread among my other 400 videos over the past several years. And now I will no longer get those notifications. So I don't know when comments are being left. I got up this morning, no notifications. I know that there should be at least 10 videos that have had comments, and I read every comment, and I manage every comment. Do you see those spammy things on my channel that say, um, you know, go to this website and learn how to make $1,000 a month spamming iPhone information on YouTube? No, you don't see those on my site, because I manage my comment section. I manage it very carefully, and I think that that's a major part of my videos, is to have that feedback. You're able to talk to me, I'm able to talk to you, you're able to talk to each other, and I'm able to talk to you and other people who make videos, and it's a network, and they've taken that away now. So if you want to be a part of YouTube now, apparently you must use the Google Plus um, social networking site, and I am not going to. I've already um, told them to delete it or whatever, disassociate it with my account. I'm not. I'm not interested, and uh, that's my choice to uh, decide that. I don't like coercion. I don't like to be forced, and uh, that's the reason why YouTube is free, or they say it's free. It's not free. It's free in terms of dollars, but you give up your privacy and you give up your rights, and you're forced to do things you don't want to do. So they call it free. I would rather be paying a couple of bucks, to be honest, than for them to be able to claim it's free. You know, it's not free. It's not free. I've given up so much over the years to do this. I've given up so much of my life, and I've given up so much of my time, and so much of my energy. And uh, yes, my stack as well. I don't have anything left anymore. I've given everything I have to this, and to make this work, and to, to make this into uh, something that changes the world, or has a potential to. Because I believe in that, and it's basically going away now. And for anyone who wants to say, you knew this was coming, or everyone knew this was coming, post a link to where you said that this was going to be coming, that the YouTube comment section would no longer be usable, uh, that you could no longer rate anything, that you could no longer delete anything, that you could no longer mark anything as spam, or unmark it as spam. You can't, you can't block people. I can't manage my videos. I don't even know where people are commenting on my videos anymore. I don't know anything. So um, I ran across a comment this morning. Very vulgar comment about me. Very vulgar and untrue comment. I'm not going to show you what it is or where it is, but it's on one of my 410 videos. And uh, it's the kind of thing that people can go to jail for when they say. And I can't do anything about it. I can't delete it. I can't, I can't block the person. I can't, you know? It's an untrue, and, and I think that they did it because they know that I won't see it, <laughs> or they thought I wouldn't see it. Maybe it's more on one, more than on one video, I don't know. Um, but they thought I couldn't see it, and so they've left this comment. I found it, but I can't do anything about it. And uh, I imagine that's going to just keep on happening. So I can't manage this. I'm going to have to turn off comments, I think. Um, I can't see your comments. Sorry, I'm a little bit upset about this because, uh, you know, I've... I've kind of uh, structured my life in the last couple of years around um, this being an option and, and it's going away. So I will adapt, of course, I will, but I don't know what's going to happen to this channel. I've put 
a lot of myself into it, and it's, uh, in a way, it's not my entire life's work, but it is my current life's work. And um, now, it, with losing that, <laughs> who knows? So if I can use only 10% of my channel, um, this website, I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to be making videos and then just having no comments, no feedback. You know, I don't do it for the comments. I don't do it for praise. I don't do it for reward. I, but I do it because I need to have a voice and I need to hear other people's voices. And there needs to be a dialogue of some kind. If it's just me making videos and not even knowing if anyone's watching them or, or appreciating them or learning anything from them, if all I can do is put out videos and then just hope that they're being heard and not get, not get anyone commenting back or anything, it's over. It's over. So I'm, that's it for me. Okay, I'm done here. Unless this changes, I, there's no, you know, I'm not going to be coerced into giving my full name, phone number, and address to Google Plus and so forth so I can sign up for a social networking site I did not want in the first place. And um, so our rights have been taken away. Um, yes, this is a private website. We, they don't have to do what we want them to do. It's a private website. It's a website that everyone in the world who has the internet uses, but hey, it's a private website, and um, they can take it away, or they can change it, and they can... Yeah, that's up to them. There was no warning. This happened yesterday, and there was no warning saying, you're about to lose your comment section. You're about to lose 90% of the website. Um, that was never said. There was a little pop-up saying um, something, I think it said, more options coming soon, and you could just always click, no, I don't want to do this. For example, it said, uh, do you want to use Drutter or do you want to use your real name? And I would select Drutter, and then it would say, do you want now to um, get a Google Plus account or not? No. Okay, well, well, we'll give you more options later, right? Well, by saying we'll give you more options later, what they meant was we're going to take away your options later without warning. And, you know, they don't have to be honest. They don't have to because no one can touch them. So that's just how it is. Um, you know, go fuck yourself, YouTube. Go fuck yourself, Google. And uh, I'm loyal to my friends, I'm loyal to my regular viewers, I'm loyal to um, the contacts I've made here, absolutely. And I'll tell you what's going on. If I can, if I can get word out to you what's going on, I will. Um, but I'm not loyal to YouTube or Google, I am absolutely not. I've served up 1.5 million video views or more because that's to unique IP addresses. So if a hundred people at a college or a business watch one video, that only counts as one. So I have reached millions and millions of people with this and I intend or intended to continue to do so, but you know, <laughs> you have to have a line in the sand at some point. They're not just gonna abuse us until they've got all our private personal information. They've hooked up all of our Ebays and everything. All are all gonna be hooked up uh, to one thing, and then you're going to have to have biometric ID to log in or whatever. That's maybe a year away. Maybe. Okay. So, I'm not going down that road, and I'm going to leave the video there. I've said enough, but um, I'm sorry to who this affects. I really am. I don't... I want... I want this to continue. And yeah, I have some big projects on the go, and I'm going to keep working on them. I don't know if I'll be able to post them here, or... I don't know what's going to happen, but... I, I, this, this is not a glitch, okay? This is not just like one of their past updates, quote, quote, updates, you know, upgrades. <laughs> every upgrade gets worse. Just like MSN, they're making it worse and worse and worse with every upgrade, and eventually they'll say, you know what? No one likes it anymore, so, and it's not even working properly, so we're going to get rid of it and um, replace it with blah, and some other new thing will come out. Um, maybe they'll call it Google Video. We had Google Video a few years ago, but they got rid of that when they bought YouTube, and now... It'll just basically be Google Video again or whatever. 100% completely controlled. You've got to put your full name and phone number on everything that you publish. And uh, yeah, it's it's done. But anyhow, thanks for listening to me rant. Um, this this not not the end. It can't be. So I'm not going to treat it like that. I will talk to you guys soon. And um, we'll figure out what to do. There's got to be something. If we have to... If, if when We can't use it. If we can't use it, we can't use it figure out another way to network, to learn, um, to spread information, and to engage in the free market, because this is not free. We need some freedom on the internet. Like I said before, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye for now.